Fantasy Anime League, Summer 2023. This is what my channel is now. Same rules as always. I'm usually pretty mid, usually about the 50% mark. This season we'll just try to be better than average, I guess. Shooting for the stars. Blacklisted Anime, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, obviously. Mishoku Tensai 2, Bleach, and Horror Mia. Um, no restricted anime this time, so it's just these are off limits and everything else is up for grabs. Which, looking at the top of the list, that is totally reasonable. All right, let's just start from the top. Uh, this is a sequel to something that I haven't ever heard of, and it's by far the most popular one so far. Um... I, I have no idea what this is about. I guess let's look at season one. Wow, this sounds terrible, and it's rated like garbage. Why was it so popular? What? Who's watching this? I'm already out on the most popular show of the season. Just kind of sad. This one's on 100 Bucket List of the Dead. Who's the studio on this one? Bug Films. Oh. Oh, this is like their first thing. Okay. Um, wow, our first two options are already scary. A sequel to a garbage show and a studio's first project. Um, action, comedy, horror, supernatural, adult cast, survival. Oh, this could be good or it could be terrible. Do things to check. Check out if the source material is any good. And then we'll check out the video. Uh, that's fine. That doesn't really sway my opinion either way. Uh, okay, I mean, it doesn't seem awful, but I, I don't know. I'll probably end up picking this, but I'm not, like, over the moon about it. Um... Now, here's, I guess, where I can start talking about stuff. Friends or Girlfriends Season 3. <laughs> um, will it perform well or not? I think this is... I mean, it'll get views, but it'll probably get garbage ratings. Um, <laughs> my god. I, season 2 is a lot lower than I thought. Oh my god, do I add this just for the... For the view count and get points that way, or do I fade it because it's going to be like a six out of ten? Man, I think it all really depends if the pool scene is in that season or not. We'll call it active for now, <laughs> and uh, we'll revisit both of these. Honestly, I think I think this season has some really high end stuff that's blacklisted, but honestly, all this other stuff is very questionable. Uh, our top four things are a studio's first ever show, post-apocalyptic survival, and then sequels to terrible shows. And then this, of course, everyone's favorite studio. Back again with another war crime, Go Hands. If we haven't seen the trailer by now, please, I, I can't show the full thing, but go, go watch this trailer. Because this is a nightmare. T uh, terrible. Yeah, I'm not choosing that. I refuse to look into it any further. Bungu Stray Dogs 5th season, I'm surprised, is has such a low member count compared to the other shows. Almost 20k short of these and almost 40k short here. I think Bongu Stray Dogs is probably the best rated prequels of all of those shows. Like, not even close. It's actually a good show. Maybe because it's season five, we've lost a few people, but um, but yeah, that one, to me, that's the first clear and obvious actually belongs in the lineup show that we've passed. Hataraku Masama, I don't even want to click into it, unfortunately. I loved season one. It was like one of my favorite shows. But the... This season two was terrible. 
Like, I, I have nothing against this rating, despite how much I love season one. It, it was bad. Um, and so I, I don't have high hopes for this. Yeah, this was under White Fox, and it was, it was I think it was better than what this numbers, uh, I think it was better than what these numbers showed. But the new studio that did this season, um, Studio 3HZ, is sticking with it for this part. And it, it it was bad. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not picking that one. My Happy Marriage. I know nothing about this show. Its manga is pretty good. That is incredible looking. I might have to read this one myself, actually. Oh, it's a Netflix show. Okay, that's not usually a good sign. It seems all right. Um, Netflix actually kind of scares me a bit. <laughs> Because I feel like this is the season where everyone's going to cancel their Netflix. And honestly, I the show itself, I'm more confident in than anything else we just saw. So I wouldn't have a problem picking it. But it Netflix is actually the only reason why I'm hesitating here. I'll add it for now, but I might have to take that one off. Liar, liar. Um, I assume this is different than the Jim Carrey movie, but it'd be kind of cool if it wasn't, <laughs> if it was just the anime adaptation. No, it's another guy is super smart, plays chess, and has 20 girlfriends kind of show. And it's etchy. Duke and his death made season two. How did season one do? Ah, uh, I remember this. Yeah, this did pretty well. It, it, it's a maybe. I'm just, I'm not excited for a lot in this season. It feels like a very weak season compared to what we've just had the last few seasons. Uh, Reign of the Seven Spellblades. All right, I mean, it's another magic school show. Another Harry Potter type show. JC Staff again. You know what? That looked pretty good, actually. That looked pretty good, and I think the the premise of like a magic school and swords and things are are going to be pretty popular. Um, so I will add that to active. Now here's one that I really struggle with. Because, by all accounts, the content of the show should be incredible. But. There's a certain. Certain principles that. I think a lot of um, anime fans are going to take a stance and not watch this or pirate it. Um. This is, I mean, this is the Deshaun Watson of Fantasy Anime League. <sighs> I'll add it to bench. I, that's tough. I, I just, it's so hard to know what to do with Ravoni Kenshin because the content of the show and having a remake of it, it, it should be a very good show. But when the writer is who the writer is you don't want to root for it but I, I think it would be a mistake to not take it for the purposes of this league my tiny senpai this i actually thought this was a sequel to that other show from like two years ago that i'm sure is in the recommendations yep first recommendation i i thought for a second that this was just a sequel of my senpai is annoying that it looks the same to me um wait wait is this already started oh it started today and people hate it all right i'm out easy am i actually the strongest reincarnated another world started yesterday or started today and people hate it uh yeah Easy enough for me to be out on another isekai. 
what is in the high school DXD is this? Classroom for Heroes. Action fantasy etchy light novel. A long time ago, Demon Lord. Yep, Hero stepped up. Yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep, at an academy, of course. Yep. This is every show I've ever seen. <laughs> Weirdly enough, my first joke of this looking like high school DXD looks spot on. This looks like the same show. <laughs> oh my god, I read that wrong. I thought I thought that said racist. Dreaming Boy is a realist. It looks wildly generic. Um, I'm kind of out-ish. I'll bench it. Um, but I'm going to need to make room, I'm sure, because this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Reborn as a vending machine, now I wander the dungeon. This right here, this is the show. This is anime of the season. Yep, I'm I'm sold. Um what am I the least confident in? Probably this one. Dark Gathering. A college freshman that hates ghosts. Oh man, these characters are getting old. Alright, supernatural. Horror from OLM. Did Odd Taxi Berserk? Call me Pokemons. Not bad. What do we got here? Uh, it's, it's another trailer. Manga screenshots. Seems kind of interesting though. Is the manga any good? That's decent. I'm going to take Dark Gathering for my bench also. I'll get rid of this one. I'm not going to double down on those studios. Dark Gathering it is. Uh, this title is too long. A game adaptation. 47 minute episodes. Is that what that means? Not a bad rating though. If episode one's already out. Um, and it does have a one chapter manga. Or one volume manga. Usually these game adaptation ones kind of stink, but they've gotten better recently. That looks pretty good. It has a decent rating after one episode, so... I'm gonna... I'll get rid of the Netflix locked show, and I will add this one, actually, uh, to my active roster. My unique skill makes me OP even at level 1. I'm already out, so I'm just gonna click this button. Yeah, that's garbage. Goodbye. This one, St. Cecilia and Pastor Lawrence. That's not a bad rating. It doesn't seem bad. I just, I feel like my bench is very strong right now with Dark Gathering, Vending Machine, and Rivoni Kenshin. Starting lineup is this game, Magic School, Bongo Stray Dogs. Yeah, Domestic, or... Rent, sorry, Jesus, not the Mr. Girlfriend. It's all the same show. Rent a Girlfriend and the Zombie Show were the ones I'm least sure of, but they're so popular. I Yeah, I don't think it's worth dropping Rent a Girlfriend to pick up... to pick up Pastor Lawrence and St. Cecilia, so... I won't, but I think... Rent a girlfriend is my first one I would drop from what I currently have. Was her goal last boss queen from villainess to savior? Oh boy, Isekai reincarnation light novel with a long title. Nah, undead girl murder farce. <laughs> terrible already. That looks pretty cool, though. Okay. Um, so both its manga and light novel. I mean, it says 10 members. So I I'm out because I don't know who is even watching that. 
Sugar Apple Fairy Tale Part 2. Uh, did people care about Part 1? Surprisingly, yes! I'll be honest, for how far down on the list it is, that's actually not a bad pick. I'm getting rid of Rent a Girlfriend. I, I, I think it's gonna be a train wreck, and for now, I don't mind. I don't mind Sugar Apple Fairy Tale Part Two on my bench. I that string of words I never thought I would have to form, but I'm cool with it. Helk. Oh wow, the Demon King was uh, finally defeated by the hero. This is like a sequel to every isekai. Oh, that's pretty good. And I have seen this, like, on social media a little bit, so... Yeah. I think this is the one. Yeah, I think Helk is what's gonna take that spot um, over Sugar Apple Fairy Tale Part 2. Let's keep it moving. To Sunshine in the Mirror. That is pretty good. Yeah, Sunrise has a hell of a resume, um, and episode one is already ranked pretty good. Based on a web manga, interesting. Oh, its parent story is Love Live. Oh, this is Love Live nonsense. Hmm. I'm kind of out. Thought about it. Temple, decent source material rating. What's our trailer look like? Not great. Yeah, not great. Um, I'm out. Temple. The masterful cat is depressed again today. Not bad. Ratings on the source material. Let's see what the quality looks like. Is this Studio Gohans again? I was curious, because this is one that it didn't need to look good to be funny. But I don't know about all this. Oh, this is Gohans. Look at that camera angle. Yeah, that's, that's Gohans 100%, and I hate it. God, I who gave them two shows this season? Why? They shouldn't have gotten cleared to do two more shows ever no thanks the gene of ai madhouse i'm a manga that doesn't really have any um uh, any ratings or members honestly um so that's a little weird but because it's madhouse and it's like ai based it might it might be interesting it's worth checking the trailer. Yeah, I'm not afraid to take a shot on that. Um, but what do I take out? I think Stray Dog Season 5 has to stay. I think this one has to stay. I think Ravoni Kenshin, unfortunately, does have to stay on the bench. Vending Machine, <laughs> I want to stay. Dark Gathering benched. This game one, maybe. I think Helk has to stay. Um, I actually think I'm going to take out the zombie show. Maybe a tough decision taking out a row one show for a show with oh, like a fifth of the viewership. But that seemed like it has some potential. I believe in Madhouse. The Great Cleric. I'm... Um, Gonna keep it short and sweet. This looks terrible. Not the worst rating, but I'm I'm kind of out. Ayaka already airing and not well rated. I'm out. Sweet reincarnation. I am so sick of reincarnation shows. No one even gives a shit. I'm out. This one is a season two that has no viewers. It doesn't look bad, but how are you season two of a show that nobody's watching? And this was terrible. I'm out. 
yeah, I think that I'm not even clicking this one. I'm just out on that for sure. I think I'm at the point where there's nothing worth clicking on anymore, so I'll run through them real quick. I mean, that doesn't look miserable. Season 1 was decent. So maybe this is not a bad pick real low. Um, I, I love Aaron Yeager and Mikasa, so uh, why not pick this show? This one is Mecca. This just reminds me of um, Near Automata. Near Automata, sorry. Ooh, interesting. Um, 24 episode original. Bondi. From Studio 8-Bit. Who have done some decent stuff. I mean, Slime and Blue Lock are wildly popular. After that, it's kind of iffy. Um, I don't mind taking a shot on this one late either. I just, I don't think it passes anything currently in my list. Yeah, I can see that being all right, but I'm out. Bang Dream, I'm not clicking on. And then these are not legitimate options. Uh, Yami Shimai is just like short ghost stories. This is obviously what it is. Card Fight, Vanguard, I love you as a game, but your cartoons are not it. Shadowverse, um, I repeat what I just said for Vanguard. And, you know, you know how it gets at the bottom of the lists. Which means this is my team. Uh, I have changed up what's active and what's on the bench just due to start dates of these shows. Um, so I can start getting some points this week with, I believe, two of these are already, or this one's already airing and this one like starts tomorrow or something. Um, these start in about a week, so I can sub them in later. But this is what I'm rolling with. In my starting lineup, I have Reign of the Seven Spellblades. Altier, Atlier, Riza, Ever Darkness, and the Secret Hideout. The animation. Reborn as a vending machine. Now I wander the dungeon. The Gene of AI. Ravoni Kenshin. Dark Gathering. Helk and season five of Bongu Stray Dogs on the bench, and that's it. I'm going to lock that in. As always, I will post this to Twitter. If you have not viewed your maximum amount of tweets yet, please check it out and respond with, uh, with your team. See if I can beat you and see if I can actually be above average for once. That's it. See ya.